Just how strong is a silverback gorilla? You hear numbers thrown around like they're 4, 10, or even 20 times stronger than a person. We've all heard stories of them bending iron bars in zoos or snapping bamboo like a toothpick. But what does that staggering power actually feel like? How does a 400-pound primate's raw force stack up against the strongest humans on the planet, men who have dedicated their entire lives to lifting? And how does it compare to the apex predators they might cross paths with? Well, today we're breaking down the science behind a gorilla's incredible might. We're going to look at their actual lifting ability, their shocking bite force, and their explosive raw power. So forget the myths, because the truth about a gorilla's strength is way more impressive than you've been told. First off, to understand their strength, you have to look at how these animals are built. A full-grown male silverback weighs anywhere from 300 to 500 pounds, with some in captivity pushing 600. And while one might stand about as tall as a person, their muscle mass is on a completely different level. It's packed onto massive shoulders and incredibly powerful arms that are actually longer than their legs. But the real secret to their explosive power is hidden in their muscle fibers. Human muscles are mostly made of slow twitch fibers, which are fantastic for endurance. Think long distance running. Gorillas? They're the exact opposite. Their muscles are packed with fast twitch fibers, the kind built for short, earth-shattering bursts of energy. It's like they traded a marathon runner's stamina for a powerlifter's explosive force. On top of that, their muscle density and the way those muscles attach to their bones give them a huge biomechanical advantage, letting them generate way more force with less effort. All of that muscle is anchored to a skeleton that's far thicker and tougher than ours. Their bones are incredibly dense to handle the massive forces their muscles put out. You can see this clearly on their skull, which has a bony ridge running along the top called a sagittal crest. That ridge is an anchor point for their enormous jaw muscles, which are so powerful they deserve their own category. Everything about a gorilla's body, from its bones to its muscles, is built for one thing and one thing only, overwhelming power. When we talk strength, the first thing people ask is, yeah, but how much can it lift? The most common estimate you'll hear is that a gorilla is about four to 10 times stronger than the average human, though some studies suggest it could be even more. It's a huge range because, well, it's not like you can ask a silverback to hop on a deadlift platform. But we can look at some real world observations to get an idea. Let's start with pulling force. Researchers estimate that a silverback gorilla has an upper body pulling force of over 1,800 pounds, or roughly 816 kilograms. Just to put that in perspective, a seriously well-trained athlete might pull with 300 to 400 pounds of force. That means a gorilla can pull with the force of several elite athletes all at once. So what about a deadlift? The current human world record is held by Hafthor Bjornsson, who lifted a mind-blowing 1,104.5 pounds. That is 501 kilograms. That is the absolute peak of human strength. While we have to be clear that this is different from pulling force, some estimates based on their muscle structure suggest a silverback could deadlift around 1,800 pounds. Other analyses based on their physiology suggest they could lift up to 10 times their own body weight. For a big 500-pound gorilla, that's a theoretical lift of 5,000 pounds. Again, these are just estimates, but they're based on feats people have actually seen, like gorillas casually uprooting small trees. In a contest of pure, raw lifting power, the strongest man on earth doesn't stand a chance. A gorilla's lifting strength is what gets all the attention, but their bite force might be even more shocking, especially since they're mainly herbivores. A gorilla's bite has been measured at a staggering 1,300 pounds per square inch, or PSI. That force isn't for hunting, it's for crushing and grinding tough plants like bamboo, tree bark, and hard nuts. To really appreciate that number, let's compare it. A human's bite force is a measly 162 PSI on average. Okay, but what about a king of the jungle? A lion's bite, which is designed to kill, averages around 650 PSI. Some exceptional lions might get up to 1,000 PSI, but the gorilla is still biting down with more force. Let's keep going. A spotted hyena, famous for its bone-crushing jaws, hits about 1,100 PSI. A massive grizzly bear comes in at around 1,160. The gorilla, 
an herbivore, outbites both of them. It's a specialized tool of incredible power, stronger than many of the world's most feared carnivores. To find a stronger bite, you have to look at animals like the hippo at 1,800 PSI, or the undisputed champion, the Nile crocodile, which clamps down with a terrifying 5,000 PSI. Still, the fact that this gentle giant has a bite stronger than a lion or a grizzly bear is a stunning reminder of its hidden power. Okay, but what about a gorilla's punch? This is where things get, well, hypothetical. This force has never been measured on a striking gorilla, for reasons that are probably obvious. Any number you see is purely an educated guess based on their muscle mass and explosive power. To give it some context, one of the hardest hitting humans ever recorded is former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou. His punch was famously measured as being more powerful than a Ford Escort hitting at full speed. That force is estimated to be around 1,300 pounds, now think about the gorilla, with its massive weight advantage, superior muscle mass, and all those fast twitch fibers, it's almost certain its striking power would blow any human out of the water. Its arms are longer, its shoulders are broader, and its core is a powerhouse. A strike from a silverback wouldn't be a technical jab, it would be a devastating haymaker with all 400 plus pounds of its body behind it. It's believed a single hit would be more than capable of shattering bone. While we don't have a precise number, all the anatomical evidence points to a level of striking power that is, frankly, terrifying. This leads us to that classic playground debate. Who wins in a fight, a gorilla or a lion? It's a fascinating thought experiment because it's a clash of two totally different kinds of power. First, the gorilla's corner. Its raw strength is off the charts. As we've covered, its physical power dwarfs the lion's, it has a huge reach advantage with an arm span that can stretch close to eight feet. And its 1,300 PSI bite is stronger than the lion's average 650 bite. The gorilla is a brute force machine built to grab, crush, and cause damage through sheer power. But the lion brings a completely different set of tools. It's a purpose-built predator. The lion is much faster and more agile, capable of bursting to speeds of 50 miles per hour, while a gorilla tops out around 25. The lion's weapons, sharp claws and teeth, are designed for slicing and killing, not just crushing. A lion also has a lifetime of combat experience, regularly taking down prey like buffalo that weigh over a thousand pounds. Its instincts are all about lethal encounters. Since these two animals don't live in the same parts of the world, there are no real-world accounts to go on. Most experts who weigh in believe the lion's predatory toolkit would give it the edge, the gorilla's strength is immense, but it's mostly defensive. The lion's speed, agility, and killer instinct would be incredibly hard to counter. Sure, if the gorilla got a hold of the lion, it could do devastating damage. But the fight is about who lands the first decisive blow, and that's a game the lion is born to play. When you look at the whole picture, outlifting the world's strongest men and outbiting some of the fiercest predators on Earth, the gorilla is truly a marvel of nature. Its strength, a product of dense bones and explosive muscles, puts it in a class all by itself. It's a walking demonstration of what evolution can do when raw power is the goal. But maybe the most incredible thing about the gorilla is that all of this unimaginable strength is wrapped up in a creature that is, by nature, gentle and peaceful. They are a powerful reminder that true strength doesn't have to be loud or aggressive. Their power is for defense, for protecting their family, and for living their lives, not for conquering. If you found this look into the gorilla's power as amazing as we did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the animal kingdom. And let us know in the comments where, what creature's power should we break down next. Thanks for watching.